Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Hope everything is well with you. Did you eat already? Very good. Okay class, before we start our lesson for today, let's check attendance first. Please say present and raise your right hand when your name was called, okay? Okay, very good. Everybody's present for today. Okay, class, before we start our lesson, let's have a review. Did you remember our lesson yesterday? Good job. Okay, our lesson yesterday was all about demonstrative pronouns. And what are the four demonstrative pronouns? Very good. This, that, these, and those. Okay, so now let's proceed to our lesson for today. Okay, class, today we are going to learn about parts of speech. Do you know what is parts of speech? I think you heard about these words before, right? And there are eight parts of speech. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example of parts of speech class? Very good. There are eight parts of speech, right? Verb, noun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, interjection, preposition, and conjunction. Very good. Okay, class. Here it is. Here it is. There are eight parts of speech. We have verb, noun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, preposition, interjection, and conjunction. Okay, let's Okay, our first one is verb. Verbs, the usage of verb, it describes an action or experience. Okay, again, verb describes an action or experience. For example, jump, cook, eat, and write. Okay, for example, in a sentence, my mother cooked delicious foods every day. Again, my mother cooks delicious foods every day. The verb in this sentence is cooks. Okay. The verb in this sentence is cooks. Next is Kate loves to read books. Again, Kate loves to read books. The verb in this sentence is read. Okay, again, class, the verb in this sentence is read. Next is noun. Noun, it is used for the name of a person, place, things, or ideas. For example, school, car, dog, and student. Okay, in a sentence, Sophie went to Japan last summer. Again, Sophie went to Japan last summer. Okay, there are two nouns in this sentence. First one is Sophie, which is the name of the person. And then the next one is Japan. Japan, which is the name of a place, okay? Next example is the baby is crying out loud. Again, the baby is crying out loud. The noun in this sentence is baby. Okay, the noun in this sentence is baby. Okay, let's we'll see it. adverb. Okay, next is adverb. Adverb describes a verb an adjective or an adverb 
adverb tells us how often, how, where, or when. For example, always, last night, slowly, okay? In a sentence, he climbed to the tree carefully. Again, he climbed to the tree carefully. So, the adverb in this sentence is carefully. Again, the adverb in this sentence is carefully. Next is, I slept late last night. Again, I slept late last night. Okay? The adverb in this sentence is last night. Again, the adverb in this sentence is last night. Okay? Next is adjective. Adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. Again, adjectives describe a noun or a pronoun. For example, beautiful, huge, cute, and red. Okay, in a sentence, she bought a new phone. Again, she bought a new phone. The adjective in this sentence is new. New describes the phone. Okay, again, the adjective in this sentence is new. Describes the phone, right? Which is the noun, name of a thing. Next is, that building is so high. Again, that building is so high. So, the adjective in this sentence is high. Okay? The adjective in this sentence is high. It describes the building. Okay. Let's Okay, next is pronoun. Pronoun replace the name of a person, place, things, or ideas. Okay, for example, they, I, she, he, it, and we. Okay, in a sentence, they go home together after class. Again, they go home together after class. The pronouns of this sentence is they. Again, the pronouns of this sentence is they. Next example is, I like listening music while cooking. Again, I like listening music while cooking. So, the pronoun in this sentence is I. Okay, class? I is the pronoun in this sentence. Okay. Is preposition. Okay. Again, preposition. Preposition describes the place, time, or direction. It is used before a noun or pronoun. For example, above, under, on, behind, in. Okay, in a sentence, you put your clothes inside the closet. Again, you put your clothes inside the closet. The preposition in this sentence is inside, okay? Again, the preposition in this sentence is inside. Next example is, my school is in front of the market. Again, my school is in front of the market. Okay, the preposition in this sentence is in front. Okay, class, the preposition in this sentence is in front. Next is interjection. Okay, interjection. Interjection express strong emotions 
and it's often followed by an exclamation mark, okay? Exclamation mark. For example, wow, oh, oops, okay. In a sentence, oops, I forgot to introduce myself. Again, oops, I forgot to introduce myself. So, the interjection in this sentence is, oops, okay? Oops is the interjection in this sentence. Next one is, wow, you look fabulous tonight. Again, wow, you look fabulous tonight. So, the interjection in this sentence is, wow, okay, next one. But not the least, which is conjunction. Okay? Conjunction connect words, phrases, or clauses in a sentence. Again, conjunction connect words, phrases, or clauses in a sentence. For example, but, and, or, were as. Again, but, and or were as in a sentence although it's late i'm still going to school again although it's late i'm still going to school the conjunction in this sentence is although again the conjunction in this sentence is although next example is i'm hungry but I have nothing to eat. Again, I'm hungry, but I have nothing to eat. So the conjunction in this sentence is but. Okay? The conjunction in this sentence is but. Okay, class. Before we will finish our lesson for today, I have a question for you. Do you understand our lesson? Do you have any questions or clarification? Okay, good job, very good. So, you don't have any question. I will give you a homework for you to do in your house, okay? I want you to make a sentence using these eight parts of speech. Only one sentence in each part of speech, okay? Which is verb, noun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, preposition, interjection, and conjunction. So the total sentences that you are going to make are only eight, okay? Only one sentence in each part of speech. Okay, class. Very good. Everybody understand. Okay, class. Before I'm, we are going to finish, I want you to taking care of yourself. Don't ever go out because the COVID is everywhere. Okay? Please stay at home. Okay? And study your lesson. Okay, class. Bye-bye. See you next time.